let me introduce another powerful way to represent a unit cell called the Wigner Cis cell. To construct the Wigner Cis cell, we connect a central lattice point to all of its nearest neighbors. Then for each connecting line, we draw a perpendicular bisector. The reason of the space enclosed by these bisectors is the Wigner Cis cell. In simple terms, it is the set of all points that are closer to the chosen lattice point than to any other. This construction works in two or three dimensions and the resulting shape always reflects the symmetry of the lattice. The Wigner C cell is a type of primitive cell, meaning it contains exactly one lattice point. In real space, it helps us visualize local environments around atoms. And in reciprocal space, the exact same construction defines the first Brillouin zone, making this concept a key stepping stone in crystallography and electronic structures. Each crystal has a distinct Wigner C cell shape that directly reflects its symmetry. In a simple cubic structure, the cell is itself a cube, the most symmetric and intuitive form. For the body central cubic lattice, the shape becomes a truncated octahedron, 14 faces in all, 6 squares and 8 slightly irregular hexagons, filling space efficiently without wires. In the face central cubic lattice, the Wigner C cell transforms into a rhombic dodecahedron with 12 rhombic faces corresponding to its close pack nature. The hexagonal close pack system yields a hexagonal prism showing its six-fold symmetry. As we move to less symmetric systems like tetragonal, orthorhombic, monoclinic and triclinic, the Wigner C cell deform into progressively more irregular polyhedra. Understanding these shapes gives insight into how symmetry, coordination and packing influence the physical properties of materials.